first instinct was, or my first reaction was looking at like the time frame. I mean, before we had done small stints over a day or two, but long-term planning of this mm -hmm. uh, really got me thinking about how this could be sustainable as opposed to, you know, kind of like making sub plans for a day to, to, to trying to use Canvas and the resources we have uh, to make sure students can learn independently over the course of time as mm -hmm. opposed to one particular day. Uh, I think knowing that other schools and districts are doing it as opposed to this is something that only Valley does is going to help kids kind of get their button gear like why is my school making me do this mm -hmm. uh, we're all <laughs> all the schools in New Jersey and all the affected areas have to kind of find some way to learn while they're at home uh, the building isn't open as a scientist I think it's going to be a great point of data I don't know what it will reveal but it'll show us uh, things to prevent or prepare for future scenarios like this. It's going to depend on where we are in all my classes. I have physics, I have chemistry in the community, and I also have CP Chem, so it, it really depends on where we are and how I can smoothly transition some form of independent work uh, to that class, whether it be writing an essay, finishing uh, what we had in our test, or any kind of other digital means of assessment, while also being available for them you know, via video conferencing at Canvas.